Inside a conventional lead acid battery, like the ones we usually have in our classic British cars, there are three things. We have a plate made of sponge lead. Actually, we have a number of them, and they're all connected to the negative terminal on our battery. We have another plate, a number of those as well. These are made of lead peroxide, and these are all connected to the positive terminal on our battery. These plates are immersed in a liquid. We have a combination of sulfuric acid and water, which combined produce a product that we call electrolyte. Now, when we have the sponge lead plate and the lead peroxide plate and the electrolyte all together, they produce what's referred to as electrochemical energy. This rubber band isn't electrochemical, but it will illustrate the point for us. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull on it. And this rubber band right now has energy. It's itching to go to work. All we have to do is let it go. Well, in our next video, we're going to see how the energy, which is all ready to go here, we put to work.